morning YouTube. Oh, half past five in the morning, Friday again, vlogging, just about to do some cardio. As hot as it is to get up sometimes, and it's absolutely freezing outside and it's pitch black. Sometimes, why don't you set your alarm for quarter to five, five o'clock, get up, do some cardio, go out for a jog. I can't tell you how much more energy I have for that day. And I feel so much better for doing it. It might be a struggle to get up, and you are walking, well I'm walking at times with a little bit of my eyes, nearly wanting to shut, but afterwards, it feels so much better for doing it. So, why don't you try it one day, just one day, see if you can do it for yourself. Anyway, do some cardio got some clients and I'm going to do this video in reverse order today, reverse order, I'm going to start off by telling you how my prep's going first and then I'm going to show you my day, I'll see you in a bit. First things first, how's my prep going? It's going incredibly well. I am really happy with the progress. I am seeing results as in changes, not just weekly, but daily. I'm not saying because I've now I'm saying I'm really motivated. I can't wait to get up and do cardio. I can't wait to go to the gym. I'm not saying it's easy. It's still tough mentally and physically. However, I am really enjoying the process. My last show, was a lot more of a struggle. I don't know why, it just was. Maybe because this one's gonna be a bigger occasion. Even so, I'm feeling focused, I'm feeling ready, I'm feeling good. I'll be having another weigh-in tomorrow and I'm feeling fairly confident that my, will be my lowest weigh-in so far. Saturday tends to be the morning where I'm my lightest, mainly because either the cheat meal or the refee, by the time it comes down to the Saturday, I've depleted my system again, I'm gonna be the lightest I am, that's just, the way it works. Last week I did feel a lot better having my refeed over a cheat meal where I controlled it. I didn't feel guilty, I just felt good. The next day I didn't feel sluggish, I didn't feel dirty, I just, because I controlled it, I didn't feel bad at all. And in fact, all it did was just give me the incredible chest pump. Felt really good, really good, felt tight. So from now on, I'm gonna be definitely doing just refeed days, not a cheap meal, because for me, mentally, it makes me feel a lot better. You can also see all of my workouts, mainly little clips as well, a little description of what they are. You can see them on Instagram, which is here, and also my Facebook page, which is here. So check them both out. At times in the prep, I won't lie, I have been a little bit hungry at times. It's mainly on the days where I'm up the earliest and going to bed the latest because my meals are spread more out throughout the day. Whereas if I haven't got a morning shift, I can get up a little bit later and maybe give myself five meals rather than six meals. I am going to be doing a new video next week about how to cope with hunger cravings. So I'm going to leave it there and then let you watch that video and tell you how I've been coping with it. And then on the note of making that video next week, that leads me to say I'm going to be trying to make, well I'm going to, determined to make two YouTube videos a week. I have recently quit my Friday night gym shift, given me more time for my own personal clients, given me more time for my online clients, and given me more time to try and smash my social media. Because it's been over a year now since I've been doing, doing YouTube. Am I happy with it? Am I happy with how it's going? Yes and no. No, as in it's a little bit slow. However, it is going in the right direction. I do think my content is getting better and better. That's also why I want to try and give it more time to commit to it because one video is gonna be a vlog style, one video is gonna be a tips style. So I don't just want my channel to just be me every Friday going to the gym, how's my prep going, that's great. It might be a little bit entertaining for some people, that's great, but it's not always the most useful. So bringing in a tip style of video means that people will watch my channel for a reason, they're gonna come in for advice, for help. And that's the direction I really want to go. I want people to come to my channel because it's going to be useful as well as entertaining. Lastly, before we go, exactly one year since I did my first competition. <laughs> Number 
107, Dan Reiner. Fourth show is going to be coming up now. It seems forever ago since I did my first one. And I tell you now, I will never ever regret stepping on stage for the first time. Getting a fourth place trophy. I didn't even expect a place on the day. I just went there and whatever happened, happened. But that has definitely changed my life. I feel much more confident. I feel better about myself. That proved to me that I can do it if I really want to. It gave me motivation. It gave me belief in myself and my own ability. And now I'm just ready to take every opportunity that life gives of me. So would never ever regret stepping on stage. Thank you, Pure Elite. Thus concludes today's catch up, little scene, little chat, breakfast. I've been getting a lot of questions about how do I make my chocolate peanut butter oats in the morning. I'm gonna show you, because you've got to get it just right, otherwise it can taste rank. Firstly, grab yourself a set of scales, and then get a fairly big container, and then weigh out 40 grams of oats. Once you've done this, add some water. Don't put too much water in there, just so you can see it, and just so you see the oats still on top of the water, not too much. And then you're gonna microwave this for two minutes. Once this is done, it should look something like this, quite thick, nothing runny at all. Then add your protein, and then add your peanut butter. This is where it gets tricky, and this is where people give up. At first, it won't mix 100% properly, but give it, this is around a 40 second clip, keep going, keep mixing, and eventually the whey protein will make it into a much more runnier consistency, and eventually something like this. Once this is done, then you can add your honey, or you can use strawberry jam, I like honey, it makes it a little bit sweeter. Mix it around, making sure you've got every bit of protein off the side, every bit of oats, and then it looks something like this. And it tastes unbelievable, trust me. Okay, guys, we're just off to the gym. It's leg day again because it's Friday. Friday is legs. I might have lied a little bit in the thumbnail. I haven't really got a BMW. It's my friend's Gareth, so I'm training with the day. Get a thumbnail of that. Just got to the gym, wind swifts. You've seen my leg sessions enough times, you've seen them twice in two weeks. So I'm actually gonna take you back to a chest session I did. A chest session? A chest session that I did on Sunday. One, two, three.
post leg workout I am absolutely anyway my very clever girlfriend had the idea of the post workout meal she usually has broccoli and jacket potato she had the idea of combining the two mashing them up and making bubble and squeak what an idea I'm gonna do it now and we're gonna see how we get on and that is with my post workout meal let's go and do it That was so good. Something as simple as that, just potato, broccoli and white onion, just combining them two, a bit of one cow spray, makes all the difference. Makes dieting so much easier because it can be so tedious at times. I think I'll do that again tomorrow, it was good. Refeed day tomorrow, same calories as last week, here they are. And let's show you what we got in store for tomorrow. So tomorrow I am going to be having sausage and mash i cannot wait i've worked out my calories i'm allowed 600 grams of white potato and four of these sausages they are low fat yes but it's only because i want to keep my fats nice and low so my body can take in these carbohydrates i will be adding in a few sweets and a little bit of chocolate in there but i am going to count all of the calories and that's what i'm doing tomorrow so i am looking forward to that so much I'm going to work out early save most of my calories for the evening meal so i can have a massive massive carb meal next week i think i might film my vlog on my refeed day so i can show you guys how i approach it and see what i do don't know what i'll be having yet for next week's refeed meal main meal anyway let's have a little think about that anyway i'm going to end the vlog there otherwise this video is going to go on forever hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you soon for more videos. And remember, catch my newest tips video. I'm going to be uploading it early at some point next week. All about how I get through and how you can get through hunger cravings. So be sure to check that one out. Like, comment, subscribe. Do the important things you know you want to. Come on. And I'll see you soon for more videos.